Hey guys, welcome back to Helper Function. In this video, we will discuss a popular interview question, first unique character in a string. So the problem is pretty straightforward. Given a string, find the first non-repeating character and return its index. If it doesn't exist, then return minus one. So we will be given with a string and we need to return the index of the first character that is unique in that string. So for this example, L appears for only one time Thus, it is unique and we will return its index as our answer. But for this example, as we can see, no character is unique. Thus, we will return minus one for this string. So let's see how to solve it. Now the brute force approach would be taking two for loops and for every index, checking whether this character appears one more time or not. So if I am at A, I will again go through all the characters and see whether A is present or not. If I get A, this means that it is not unique. Otherwise, it will be unique and I will return this index. So for this example, C will be the first character that will be unique. But this approach will not work in an interview because the time complexity would be order of n square. Now another approach would be, first we count the frequency of each character present in this string. And now we again traverse through this string. Now if there is any character whose frequency is 1, this means that this character is unique in this string and we will return the index of that character. Otherwise, if there is no character with frequency 1, this means that the string does not have any unique character and we will return minus 1. Now let's understand with an example. So we have created an array named frequency of size 26 initialized with 0 as it is given that the string only contains lowercase characters. Also index 0 to 25 will be mapped to a to z. Thus a corresponds to index 0 and z corresponds to index 25. Now we will traverse through this string and increase the count of each character we come across in our frequency array. So our first character is A, thus frequency of 0 will be incremented by 1. Now the next character is B, thus frequency of 1 will be incremented by 1. Again the character is B, thus frequency of 1 will this time become 2. Now we have A, thus the frequency of index 0 will increase by 1, making it 2. Now the next character is C, which corresponds to index 2. Thus, frequency of 2 gets incremented by 1. Next character is D, which corresponds to index 3. Thus, frequency of 3 becomes 1. Next is character P, which corresponds to index 15. So, the frequency at index 15 also becomes 1. And now we again have D. Thus, frequency of 3 gets updated to 2. So, now we have traversed through the string and we know that how many times a character is present in this string. So in the next step, we will again traverse through this string and this time, whenever we encounter a character whose frequency is 1, this means that we have reached our answer and we will return its index. So currently we are at A and it shows that frequency of A is 2, so we move ahead. Now we are at B and again frequency of B is 2, so we will move ahead. Similar thing will happen for next B and A and now we are at C. Here we see that frequency of C is 1. This means that C is present in this string only for one time and is unique. So we will return its index that is 4 as our answer. Thus we were able to find our answer in order of n complexity. Now let's quickly look at the code. We are given with the string S. We declare a frequency array of size 26 initialized with 0. Now in the first for loop, we are incrementing the count of every character we come across. Now A in ASCII forms corresponds to 97. So subtracting 97 from SI will map A to 0 and Z to 25. Thus after the first for loop ends, we have stored the count of every character present in this string. Now in the next for loop, we are traversing through every character and checking if there is any character whose frequency is 1, that is whose count is 1. And if we found that character, then this is our answer and we will return its index as our answer. 
otherwise we will come out of this loop and return minus 1 which means that there is no unique character present in this string so this was all about the problem hit the subscribe button if you like this video thank you for watching